to Agape Kids Church. You are tuned into the At Cubs Total Kids Worship Service. This service is for our little lions and lambs, ages 9 months to 5 years old. Our lesson for today is titled, Control Your Anger, and will be led by Ministers Tati and Sabelle. All my Agape Kids, get ready, get set, and let's go learn how to love like him. Good morning, Echoes. I'm Minister Savelle, and look who's back. Hi, guys. I'm Minister Tati. And you are tuned into Agape Kids Total Worship Service. We are so excited, one, to be back together yes. teaching you guys. I missed her. And I missed you guys. I missed you too. Love. <laughs> but we also are so excited to be back teaching you, and we're like excited that you get to see our faces, oh, and that yeah. we get to see some of you guys when you come to drive in. We get to wave at you and give you big, huge smiles. But I have a question. Do you guys know what today is? I don't think you do. Do you know what today is? I think I know. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Celebration Sunday! all of our at cubs with an august birthday a very happy birthday we pray you have a wonderful birthday celebration with all of your family yeah so i just want to take a dance break really quick you guys ready oh, oh y'all better get up and dance with us dance breaks and celebrating with you guys which means we also want to say welcome to all our new at cubs because i know there's some of you who've been watching at cub service every week and we might not even know you yet in person and we can't wait to meet you guys. oh my gosh i can't wait to meet all the new faces and see your beautiful smiles yeah! so last month you heard from all the at cub teachers about kindness mm -hmm. do you remember what they taught what 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 were some of the things we learned. So, I think we learned about like what kindness is, right? Okay. So, like what it was. Okay. We learned about how to be kind. kind. Okay. We learned about what happens when you bring others down. Oh. But we also learned how to build them back up. Oh. You guys remember okay. that lesson? Okay. I taught that one. Oh. When I built the tower. Yeah. Yeah. We learned how to build people up. I, I remember that one. She knocked it down. Remember? I did. Because when yeah. you say, you know, we learned, you know, when you say mean things, you break people down, but you want to build them back up. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So this month, we're going to talk about anger. <clears throat> yeah. I know it's like uncomfortable topic, but it's okay. You guys are going to learn it's not what you think. Mm -hmm. But before we go any further into our lesson, we have to pray. So when we pray, we cross our hands, close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you continue to open our eyes throughout this day. And I thank you for each and every kid who is on this service. Lord, I ask that you open their eyes, their ears, and their hearts to hear a word from you. And that you use me and Minister Tati as a vessel to give them the word you want them to hear. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That was a good prayer, Minister Oh, well, thank you. You are welcome. So today's title for the message is Control Your Anger. Well, wait. It's you control yes, your anger. you control your anger. Yeah. Okay. So our bottom line is don't let anger control you. So we're going to do some hand moves. You know how we always do it? So it's don't let anger control control you. So let me go over that. So you're going to go like this for don't. And you're going to anger, make an angry face. Oh, I'm so mad. And then you're going to play like you're playing a video game. Control and then point. You. So let's do it. Don't let anger control you. Yes. That was good. I think you guys got it. I think so. Okay. And the Bible verse is Ephesians 4, 26. Yes, we're still in Ephesians. We are. Which is good, you know. So yes. it doesn't get yeah. confusing or complicated. Ephesians has some really good lessons, as you guys heard in the previous months. Yeah. So remember, the Bible verse is what? Ephesians 4 and 26. Okay, so we have more motions. It's 
be angry and do not sin. Yes. Ready? So be angry and do not sin. Don't do it. So you're gonna buzz like a bee. Be so be angry, make your angry face, and do not sin. No, 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 no. So let's do it one more time. I want one you guys time. to do it with us. Okay, oh. ready? Be angry and do not sin. So our Bible story today, it's a story about when Cain got mad. Now you guys don't know who Cain is yet, but we're going to let you know. And it's from Genesis 4, 1 to 16. And I'm not going to read all the verses, but I want to just sum it up for you. So Adam and Eve, we all know who Adam and Eve are, right? The first people you know, God put on earth, right? Okay, so Adam and Eve had two sons, and their names were Cain and Abel. And Cain, Cain and Abel loved worshiping God. And one way they worshiped God was by bringing him offering gifts. So they brought him gifts, but they didn't just bring what they wanted. They didn't just be like, oh, well, I'm going to bring them um, this phone. Or I'm going to bring them um, this t-shirt. No. No, no, no. God told them what to bring. So they would pray to God, and God would tell them what they were supposed to bring. You get it now? Yeah. yeah so like God would tell them, and they had to bring back. So one day, Cain and Abel brought their gifts. But Cain didn't bring the right offering. He didn't listen to God. Um, uh -oh. He told him so. It's like God told him to bring. Say God told him to bring like a fish. He didn't bring the fish. Uh oh. He he could have brought a pencil. That's not what God told him to bring. No. So like when God saw Abel, he was so happy that Abel obeyed again. He was listening and he was learning and he continued to bring the right gifts. But then Cain realized that like God was happy with Abel but he wasn't so happy with him because he didn't listen and obey. So Cain got angry. He got mad. And he did some things he wasn't supposed to do. He allowed his anger to control him. And he hurt Abel. Oh no. So, we're gonna talk about anger. And we're gonna kinda tell you why Cain did the wrong thing. I know. So, like Minister Savella said in the Bible story, Cain allowed his anger to control him. And anger is a normal feeling we get. You get angry, right? Yeah, sometimes. I get angry sometimes. Yeah. Normally it's silly stuff. But like sometimes yeah. you both get angry, right? Yeah, sometimes it's silly stuff. And anger alerts us when someone has crossed our boundaries. Yeah. It is okay to protect yourself from getting hurt again, but it is wrong to use our anger to punish somebody. So like when Cain hurt Abel, that was wrong with him because he was punishing him because he felt angry. Abel didn't really do anything to Cain except obey God. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing we we'll want to talk about is like, don't let your anger turn into sin. So remember the verses, be angry and sin not. So like you're not supposed to like, and you can be angry, it's okay, you can be angry, but you gotta take care of it first, like better. So I guess, let me ask you a question. Is okay. it possible to be angry and not sin? Yes. Yeah, right? Right? So, yeah. in the Bible, you know, I can't remember who asked. <laughs> Someone asked God, he said, when does the sin begin? And God said, it begins when you open your mouth. So if you don't know what I mean, so when you're angry, you know, being angry is okay, but it's when you open your mouth and you, you say, say something. Yeah, and you say something mean. Or you yell at somebody. Oh, no. oh gosh. But if someone says like a bad word, <gasps> mm, oh. that's when the sin starts. No. So like, have you ever been like really, really angry? Yeah. Like red hot angry. I have. I'm like, you know, is it best to keep your mouth shut? Or should you open your mouth and like yell at people? Well, the Bible says it's best to keep your mouth shut. So that means it's best to keep your mouth shut. So when you're angry, <laughs> say you're angry with your brother or sister. Right. Or even your mom or dad. And they make you really angry. You know, sometimes when you yell, oh, you make me so mad, or oh, all these things, and then, you, you know, you get mean. Well, God says we shouldn't do that. We should keep our mouth shut, pray about it, and talk to him. We should never use our words to punish somebody. No, that's not nice. And remember, we said, do not let anger control you. Yes. Don't let it control you. Yeah. Have you ever done something while you were angry that felt bad and you, like you felt bad about it later on? Yeah. 
You have? Yeah, like sometimes you know, I, I say something like, I don't know, I've been, you know, we get angry at each other. Sometimes yeah. we, you know, we're best friends, we go together. Well, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we get angry, angry and I'm like, oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. later I'm like, I'm sorry, Mr. Tati. Oh. And I didn't mean it. Yeah. So like, I felt, it felt like, felt like the right thing to do at the time, but right. it definitely wasn't. So when you're mad, sometimes it feels good. Yeah, to let it out. But after the anger is gone, you feel ashamed. Mm -hmm. That's a big word for sad or sorry mm -hmm. or upset because you hurt someone's Guilty. feeling. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. if so, then you let that anger control you. Yeah. And that's not good. God wants you to be in control. So never give the steering wheel to anger. Never. Exercise self-control. Oh, I'm sure you guys are going to learn more about that later, but just a little sneak peek. Yes. Self-control is reflecting in yourself and telling yourself, reminding yourself not to do something or mm -hmm. what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, like, you know, sometimes your mom, they remind you, like, don't do this, don't do that. We have to do that with yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I gotta remind myself when I'm angry, okay, don't say that, don't say this, don't do that. Yeah. Pray to God, talk to God about it. That is correct. Yes. So I have to like, bring it up to myself, which is hard because like you don't want to admit that you're wrong. That, right. That's you. No one wants up. to be wrong. We all want to be right. So, in easier words, control yourself. Yes. Stay in control of yourself. Because God says that you control your anger. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember, God wants us to do four things with our anger. Now there's more, but these are the ones we picked out. Yeah. So God wants us to forgive one another. So when you're angry and at somebody because they did something, forgive them, but also forgive yourself. We yes. talked about that a while ago. Yeah. Forgive yourself as well. Yes. And the second one, wait until you calm down to deal with it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like, well, parents say in the heat of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, when you're angry, don't go, oh, you make me mad. I da, 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 da. Yeah, don't do don't that. Do That's that. not nice. Let yourself calm down. Calm and down. then bring yeah. it up to that person. So, I to talk to you earlier. I got upset because you said this. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, see, look, and then it's <gasps> just like that. that. <laughs> that's, just, that's how it works, right One there. and two, demonstrated there you go. right there. I forgave. And I waited until I was calm to talk about it. Yes. And look at the response I got. She said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I made you feel that way. Yes. Look at that. So number three is don't go to bed if you're still angry. Now, I know that like that doesn't sound like you're like, why? Well, if you go to bed angry, you're going to wake up angry. And what do we normally do before we pray? Or before we go to bed? Look, I just told you the answer. We normally pray before we go to bed. So if you pray about you know, your day, God for your day. You also bring up the things that you're upset about. Well, if you still go to bed angry, that means you didn't pray about your anger. Yeah, you just went to bed with you it. You just went to bed with it. And you let it sit, and then it you will start holding your next day all messed yeah, up. Yeah, like, I want to have a good day. I want to have a good morning. I want to wake up really happy, refreshed, talk to God, and then go about my day and be happy. But if you go to bed angry, you know, you should do pray before you went to bed. So number four. Yep. Number four, never use your words to punish me. Never. Never use your words to punish me. I think we say it louder. Never, never use your words, words to punish, punish people. people. And we say it loud because that's a big one that everybody, even us, even us, you know, we're the teachers right here, we make mistakes. Yeah. Again, never use your words to punish people. You should never lash out at somebody. Go back to the other point. Either wait until you calm down. Yep. Forgive them, mm -hmm. which also can be wait till you calm down. <laughs> but you go through all four of these points. Yes. Because anger is not nice. Mm -hmm. And when you deal with something while you're angry, it makes you mean. And then when you're not angry anymore, now you feel bad when you're sad. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Yep. So, we have a demonstration today. Minister Bell, can you help me? Sure. Okay. I don't know what it is. So I have a cup of water and okay. I need you to hold it. Am I going to drink it? No. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is shake the cup. Shake it. Shake it. 
Shake the cup. Go ahead and shake the cup. Shake it harder. Get all the water out. <laughs> Is the water gone? No. Keep shaking. <laughs> Tell me why the water came out. Because I shook it! <laughs> okay, so I have another cup for you. Give me this one. Okay, this is my water. This one. <laughs> and I want you to shake this one too. See, I'll shake this one. Look. So why didn't any water come out of that one? There's no water in the cup. Okay. <laughs> oh, so I get it. There's no water in it, so it didn't come out. Yeah, and that's a, that's how anger is. If we have anger inside of us, and when someone gets us so angry, water comes out of the cup. <laughs> <laughs> but when we're not angry, we're like this empty cup. And okay. No matter how, no matter how many times somebody upsets okay, us. Okay, okay. So I think I get it. So just like the cups. Yes. If there's isn't any anger in us, and we shake it, nothing comes out. Okay. But if there's anger in us, anger in it, you shake it, it comes out. out. <laughs> the comes out. So like, when we're angry, and someone comes in and shakes us up a little bit, makes us angry, we get it. So instead, we should do what our bottom line says. Yes. Don't Sorry. let anger, anger control me. you. Yeah. So I get it, I get it. Yeah. I do, I do. So, when we say, you make me mad to someone, mm -hmm. you're playing the blame game. Oh, yeah. Like you're blaming them for making you mad. That's not really nice, is it? No. Everyone does with anger, but no one is able to control our anger. No, let's, let's rephrase that. Okay. You are the only person that can control your anger. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So when we let our anger control us, we end up saying things we regret, regret, yes. right? And you're like blaming other people for your anger. Oh, okay. So I can only control my anger. Yeah. Only one that can control my anger. And I don't want to end up saying something that I regret and have to apologize later for. Yes! Okay, okay. So I should watch my words. Mm hmm that I say, yep. and control my anger. Yeah. So I don't end up like this cup. That water cup. <laughs> Got it. As we come to a close, we want you to remember our title. You, you control, control your, your anger. anger. Let's do that again. We have some like motion Yeah, I like okay. that one. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. You control your anger. So, we've ended this lesson. Now it's time to pray. <gasps> oh, oh, we, pray? we cross our hands, close, close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear God, we thank you for this lesson today. We pray that you help us to not be angry and to do what we are supposed to do when we are angry, to be calm and deal with it afterwards. We thank you for today. We love you and we give you all praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, hey at Cubs, make sure that you tune in for next week's lesson from Ministers Tiffany and Ashlyn. We love you guys. You. Bye at Cubs. Oh, bye. It's so good seeing you guys. Woo! Ah! Love you. <laughs>